For over 20 years, Carolyn Rose Hart, Masters in Education, has been studying and implementing transformational success principles. As the founder of Step Up, Step Out, a premier training, speaking, and coaching organization, she is now a sought-after professional speaker, licensed trainer, best-selling author, and credentialed ICF coach. Carolyn's trainings and workshops help managers support their team to break through limitations and achieve greater results. Using a proven process based on neuroscience success strategies, her enthusiastic and focused approach to change provides a space for what is possible as we move forward powerfully. She has a special love for supporting management, entrepreneurs, and teams make seeking cohesiveness, clarity, and breakthroughs. During this session, Carolyn is going to identify three principles of success. Please welcome Carolyn. As I entered the century-year-old home, I found myself taking in the odors of the musty basement from hundred year of moisture. The century home sat on the edge of a Native American ceremonial site. Going into the living room, I could see the fireplace with two windows with the wind blowing in the smoke and the smell of the fire that had burnt, been burning for hours. A fire that had flames as high as I am tall. On the left of me was a, a couch that was large enough for the group that was gathered there to shift the focus of what their stories were telling them they could not do in their lifetime. The excess people would sit on the floor on a carpet that had the big red flowers. You know those kind from the 70s? And so we were there doing exercises, pre-exercises to prepare us for our fire walk. One of the exercises was placing the tip of an arrow at the small of our neck and then pushing it against the wall like this until it broke. We were ready for our fire walk. In my work, what I do is I help individuals rewire their self-limiting conversations and step into the life that they see for themselves. Business owners as well actually have an extraordinary experience with the tools that are transformational in their business. Going outside, I stepped up to the fire that was now hot coals with the flames licking about six inches out of the hot coals. And I notice, as I look down, I'm in my bare feet. And all the pain of my childhood came back. And I'm standing there wondering, why am I choosing more pain? Why am I doing this? What was I thinking that I stepped into a fire walk? My knees were shaking. I try to take a deep breath that stops right here. You know how when you're breathing deeply and you're in fear, you can't get that deep belly breath? I hesitate and I step back. Others did their fire walk. It was my turn again. I step up at the edge of the fire my knees shaking, my breath not going any further than this. I begin to hesitate, and with that, my friend Sharon notices the hesitation, and she goes to the back of the fire. That was as large as this room is, and she looks me right in the eye, and at that moment, I knew she believed in me. I knew I was being supported. I was willing, and I took my first step, my second step. I completed my fire walk. So why does this matter to you as business executives? 
would it be all right with you to see that there is a similarity between firewalks and business? That we actually can step up to the plate and do what we came here to do, what we see our business is going to do to serve others. There are three steps. First one is to be willing. I was willing at the moment. I was at the edge of the fire. And I took that step. I was willing. What stops us at any point from being willing are our self-limiting conversations. I like to call it monkey mind. It's that aspect of the mind that swings from doubt to worry and back to doubt again as the Buddhists say. And you know, when we feed it bananas, it becomes a gorilla, and it totally sabotages our life at any moment. We can be willing and step into our bigger story. There are four important words in the English language. Of all the words, the most important words are nevertheless, I am willing. Because with willingness, we actually can do big things. When we make that decision to step into our greatness, and we are willing. So I'd like to invite you, when you leave today and go home, write those words on a piece of paper. Do it two times. Put one on your refrigerator and one on the mirror in your bathroom. And when you see, nevertheless, I am willing, what is it that you're willing to do that will take your business to the next level? So be willing. And there's also get support. At that moment that my friend Sharon looked me in the eye and believed that I could do it, I had support and I did it. We live in a culture where there is so much do it alone. I've got to prove it because if I ask someone for help, then I am absolutely going to be weak. Do it alone. So Carnegie Mellon University professor Anita Williams Woley and her colleagues actually found that when groups come together, there's a group intelligence. We can go further, farther. You know that old adage that more, ha more heads are better than one? Be willing to get support. Take it in, accept it, and give others support. That's why we're here. And then there's take a step. Take a step toward what you see for your business. Do what you came here to do. Columbia University put out a study that said we remember 2% of what we hear, 25% of what we see, and a whopping 90% of what we actually intentionally do. So what is your intention to do what we came here to do? This afternoon in one of the sessions, I will be introducing the playing field of life. We'll go deeply into the principles of what that looks like. Don't miss it. The playing field of life gives us the opportunity to get into action, to get support, and take, be willing. Gandhi said, being willing and taking action is showing priorities. What are your priorities? What's more important to you? It reminds me of a very a successful executive woman that I was coaching last year who saw the bigger story for her life. She knew that she had principles that would help young entrepreneurs and was creating a company to teach these young entrepreneurs all that they could do. And she's out in the world doing and doing and doing and doing. You see, we live in this candy shop where we can pick and choose at any moment everything that is possible. 
But when we have focus and when we're clear about what it is that we're to do next, what our next action is, she got clarity and we're gonna go into these tools in a few minutes. When we see the playing field of life and we actually learn the principles of the playing field of life and what takes us out of the game and then we're willing and we get support and we take a step, we're gonna go into this deeply in the next session. We actually can make a difference. So I urge you to leave here and identify one step that you will take. Nevertheless, you are willing to take that step. And Eleanor Roosevelt said, do the thing that you're most afraid to do. And I'd like to invite you to see your bigger story, to step into your greatness and do what you're afraid to do. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.